वेलकम बैक टू कैड कैम ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सिंपल शीट मेटल एक्सरसाइज इन सॉलिड वर्क एंड हियर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज वेंट टूल एंड क्रिएट दिस वेंटिलेशन इन सॉलिड वर्क शीट मेटल पार्ट आई होप यू लाइक इट सो लेट सी हाउ टू डू दिस इन सॉलिड वर्क दिस इज द सॉलिड वर्क शीट मेटल एक्सरसाइज एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज वेंट टूल एंड क्रिएट दिस वेंट पार्ट फर्स्ट वी विल मेक बेसिक थिंग्स 90 by 90 millimeter thick sheet thickness 1 millimeter then we will extrude uh, we will use edge flange and expand this up to 20 millimeter see here in all directions now if you don't find sheet metal tool here right click and here you will find sheet metal see first we will choose create our sketch so i'll choose top plane sketch here i'll select center rectangle i'll start from origin point and you will see 90 tap key 90 enter exit see now simply exit and go to sheet metal and choose here base flange now see thickness going downward direction even though you can change the direction but we will keep 1 mm thickness and this all are keep by default okay now the next thing age flange if i'll choose i'll select upper edge and going down see what in whatever direction you want to keep i'll keep bottom and now here i'll do some by default internal radius 2 mm this is internal radius okay distance the gap between two i'll show you angle 90 degree band length end condition blind and length 20 mm from this upper edge see distance outer virtual sharp means distance from this outer edge to outer edge is 20 mm and here material inside if i'll show you the preview outside see it moves outside see it's bend outside but we will keep inside custom relief we, we will not going to use here again here so let's select all the edges now see this is the gap it is 1 mm even though we can reduce it let's say 0 see it's become 0 but it is practically difficult so let's keep at least 1 mm more than the thickness okay if you choose flatten look now let's add this flange this flange 20 mm and 35 mm from this corner and uh, this width also 20 mm you will see in blue line here then this internal circle 10 mm and outer radius 10 mm and at all corners we need to make this one so i'll select edge flange i'll choose this edge drag here and click now first few things we can do it end condition blind let's say 20 mm virtual sharp material inside now custom release rectangle ratio 0.5 i'll show you edit flange drag inside from both side A smart dimension this distance 20 mm and distance from outer edge 35 mm even though if you check from this side also it's by default 35 back and you will see there is the relief angle what we defined at bottom rectangle say yes now look in the same way we will define other this edge edit flange 
स्मार्ट डायमेंशन 20 मिलीमीटर एंड डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम आउटर एज 35 मिलीमीटर क्लिक हियर बैक एंड कीप एवरीथिंग एज इट इज एंड कंडीशन 20 मिलीमीटर सी रिलीफ एंगल आई चूज रेक्टेंगल पॉइंट फाइव रेशो से यस नाउ लुक now i'll apply here corner break i'll choose this two edges 10 mm and i'll select fill it see yes hole i'll click this surface and i'll click the top face and move just keep your cursor near this edge and you will find center point fix now see this is black color it means it's fully defined link to thickness okay now let's try to mirror click mirror now here first we need to define right plane is the perfect thing now features to mirror i'll select this one and this hole you can't select this edge See break corner. See sheet metal feature cannot be mirror individually. Please try body. So if I am going to see here, okay. Now see, you can't mirror this one. So the same thing we will going to apply here. Let's go to sheet metal corner break. okay hole click this surface click top face a uh, point move your cursor and you will find origin point center point actually it's fully defined keep 10 mm this is the diameter what we want to keep thick link to thickness that's it mirror this time we will choose front plane features to mirror hole selected now choose this body these two things are selected mirror now let's manually add breaks that's it now let's define this vent command before going to create vent we need to create sketch so here you just note down 80 64 29 13 and 46.5 mm this 5 diameters and 3 mm is rib okay select off face sketch circle now here we want to create five circle 80 mm enter 64 mm 46.5 29 and the last one is 13 mm this is what i calculated so this is uh, seems fits our geometry click line and connect from this end to this and this is the rib again press l and you will get line command escape out of the line go to sheet metal and here you will find vent tool even though if you go to insert and a uh, fastening feature and here you will find vent tool now first boundary so i'll select the outer circle now see you will easily visible our body now face all also selected radius i'll set at the end now the area and everything you will see ribs we have two ribs one two and rib thickness you can define 
3 millimeter according to drawing. See here 3 millimeter sparse. So, 1, 2, 3. This 3 we will apply here. Thickness 3 millimeter. And the last one is boundary, fill boundary. I will select this one and see it is completely filled. You will not going to see any thickness here. Come up. Radius. Let us say 1. Now see the corner become 1 millimeter. Say yes. Now look. Let us let me apply some material appearance and I will keep some blue color. Okay. Flatten. Now look. This is how the things are ready. This is now if you want to right click export to DXF file. Say whatever your name, cover, save. Now here click sheet metal and uh, whatever if you want to hide edges, entities to export hidden edges, then bending line you want, forming tool we do not have anything, bounding no nothing, say yes. Now once you click yes, see this is your uh, 2D drawing with geometry. Save. Now it is saved in your destination. Now that file you can use for programming purpose or 2D purpose. So this is how we did a simple sheet metal exercise in SOLIDWORKS with the help of sheet metal tools and we learned how to use vent tool and create a ventilation window for any sheet metal part. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.